So today is the day when Liz Truss finally gets the keys to number 10. Uh, is, it, um, is it all gloom and doom? Well, from my point of view, no. Uh, I'm delighted, of course, that uh, Priti Patel has finally handed in her resignation. She should have done that when she was accused of bullying. And Nadine Dorries has admitted that she would prefer to go back to writing books and is going to quit as Minister for Digital Culture, Media and Sport. So with any luck, we can continue the discussion with somebody better. I understand there's a possibility that might be Penny Mordaunt. That would be spectacular. Um, but whoever it is must be better than Nadine Dorries. I don't know whether it's enough to save Channel 4 or even the BBC, but it's enough to give me a fresh hope that maybe this conversation about the future of reality TV can continue or at least can start because um, to be brushed off uh, over the last year with nonsense or to be ghosted is exhausting. And I think, um, well, I, you know my opinion. I think Nadine Doris's books are very readable. They're not exactly my cup of tea. And I have been greatly surprised all the time by the complete contrast between the Nadine Doris, uh, what she says as minister, what she writes, how she writes as minister, and how she writes as an author, it's as if there are two completely different people functioning. Uh, I don't greatly like her as an author. I dislike her deeply as a minister. And why? Simply because she doesn't get things done. And simply because she doesn't... Uh, she doesn't interface, she doesn't listen. And um, uh, she's too busy supporting Boris rather than doing the job that she's supposed to be doing. The arts is in a state of crisis and to have a minister who is in charge of the arts indifferent to their fate is catastrophic. It's bad enough having a general, uh, general secretary of equity who um, doesn't really uh, wish to discuss these issues either, but it's particularly bad um, when, uh, when, when, when the minister is um, indifferent or hostile. The bottom line is very simple. If somebody is performing and uh, taking up our time on television, they deserve to be treated as a performer. And that means that they should have proper management and proper union representation. Uh, this, this predates equity. This is about the Variety Artists Federation, uh, which, um, which oddly was one of the first um, unions to call people out on, in, in, on strike and to be successful. Um, the strike in, I think, 1911, which was led partly by Mary Lloyd, you know, the wonderful lady in the music halls uh, who, um, who sings about every little movement has a meaning of its own. Um, you know, they closed the theatres for um, over a week and managed to get some sort of improvement for those artists who were lower on the bill and who were clearly being exploited. It is not appropriate for management, i.e. production companies, to be taking care of performers after the show is over. Uh, that should be done by professionals who know how to do that. That means managers, agents and unions. And giving production these extra powers gives them extra powers over performers. And I think that can easily lead to abuse. Production should be left to do what it does best, which is to produce. And to get back to our subject, congratulations, Pretty Patel, and finally seeing the writing on the wall and finally recognising that it's time to go. And I wish Nadine Dorries 
all the very best with her writing career and I hope she gives other people um, a lot of joy in future books. That is where her future lies, I hope.